Here we, here we, here we go again. Surprisingly, the boffy was actually empty. I was surprised being Friday night last night. You would have thought there would have been one or two inhabitants, but not to be. But anyways, we are pushing on. We've got uh, this Corbett to do, and according to Walk Highlands, it's a seven to eight hour hike in summer conditions. And as you can maybe make out, it's snowing. Happy days. So we're heading up Glendu Lee and once we get past these trees we'll then branch off to the east and pick up the ridge Hopefully it clears up otherwise we might just be stuck in a snow cloud all day Well that's us reached the end of the forestry and this is exactly where we strike uphill Lovely jubbly Right up here. Since last speaking to you, we have managed to clear the uh, tree line. The snow has stopped and there is some blue skies above me there. So fingers crossed, conditions improve. I wish I could tell you that that was a summit, but it's not, it's a false summit. And there's a hundred meter drop at the other side. That bad boy. Ah. Oh. Just kidding. Oh. Pretty much the same length as my pole. Not bad. Okay folks, that's us been up and over this top. Now, we follow this dry stone dike all the way up to the summit. And there's a little drop in between. And then the summit is right at the back, typically. Quite a long walk in this one. So just behind me there, you've got Gil Vane. You may remember Stripey, Hat Guy, Kevin and myself. We did that, it uh, must have been earlier this year. I think it was about June. And over this side in the cloud, you've got the Corbett Streep, which I did a few years ago from the Boffy that you've seen earlier on in the video. And uh, that was, that's a cracking Corbett, by the way. Uh, really good, that one. And you've got the Glen Finnan Munros, a little bit further on still, to the west. Some cracking mountains in this area. So anyways, let's follow this dry stone dike. Right folks, 
This is the last little drop and our summit is just somewhere in the cloud. Right, well there's the wall. That disappears down the hill and you've just got a little pull up to the summit about 500 metres in distance. So not long now. Yeah. Huh? Right, well that's just made it to the summit but Hendel reckons this little rock outcrop is probably the true summit so I'll go and touch this one as well <laughs> Yeah, I know uh, the mist can play tricks on you but this definitely looks higher than that over there so uh, it's in the bag I was winding up Hendo because at the summit he went into his British Hills app and ticked it off and I says you can't do that because you've only done half of it, you still have to get back down and he disagrees so what do you think? Do you guys tick off at the summit or do you wait till you get back? I bought some gear straps yesterday but they're too thin, they've already came off Absolutely useless. Trek mate ones. Anyway, we've just had a quick bite to eat. We're going to head back up here and back the way we came. And hopefully staying on the ridge we'll get a view because it is clear enough in places. So straight ahead of us there we've got Loch Shiel. We've got some of the mountains over in Ardgower that way. I mentioned this one earlier but in the cloud behind me is Streep and that is rather nice I have to say so myself. Well 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 this is a slow slippy descent back down to that track. Joy! Ooh, nearly way there. Just a very quick stop. Get all my stuff started. Get these waterproofs off. We've got a good cup of nights in here then, you know. Alright. 2018. You slip on the stick and blow your arse. Right. Let's go.